Let's move on to this. Veteran investigative journalist and broadcaster Derek Watts has died after a battle with sepsis and skin cancer which spread to his lungs. The 74-year-old shed his health struggles on social media. Tributes are now pouring in for Watts on the platform formerly known as Twitter. He worked at investigative program Carte Blanche since its inception 35 years ago. Let's now speak to Carte Blanche presenter McFarlane Muleli who joins us live now. McFarlane, firstly, condolences, um, because as the Carte Blanche family, this must be quite a hard time. It's been an incredibly difficult day for all of us. Um, I think, you know, when, 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 when we got the news, we were called into a meeting um, and it was um, told to us. And, you know, as much as we knew um, that Derek was struggling, we all knew that Derek was ill. Um, it, it really, 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 um, you know, pained all of us to know that our beloved Derek, our Papa D, um, is, is, is no more. I think each and every single one of us has a story to tell about Derek. Each and every one of us um, has a moment that they can share about what an incredible human being he was. Um, you know, the producers that um, do our stories often joke that it was terrible to um, work with Derek because wherever you went, um, you know, um, you know, five, ten people would stop you and uh, shoot that is supposed to take, you know, five or, uh, you know, take a shoot that is supposed to take an hour um, ends up becoming two to three hours because Derek would give each and every single person that he met on the shoot their time of day. He would, um, you know, look into their eyes, would greet them, and he would really, really, really um, take his time to listen to their stories. I mean, people would tell, hey, Derek, I remember 20 years ago, I met you at a checkers, and Derek would just, like, stand there and listen and, um, you know, and, and, and give that person the time of day. He was a gentle giant that um, all of us loved dearly. And, you know, um, hearing the news today was, was, was really heartbreaking. Uh, uh, as a family, as, as, as carte blanche, we've really, really lost a, um, a giant in, in, in our midst. He, he was the patriarch of the family. I mean, a lot of people sometimes would even say that, uh, you know, we, we all work for Derek. And we'd all, we'd all agree he's given 35 years of his life to the program. And, um, yeah, uh, he, he, will be, he will be sorely missed. And, you know, our heartfelt condolences, condolences go out to Belinda, um, Aunt Belinda and, and, and the kids and the family and each and every South African that has watched and listened to that music at 7 o'clock on a Sunday knowing that the weekend has finally ended. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's, 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 it's a difficult time for us. And I can tell you, I'm going to take some responsibility for in some of those moments, making the producers wait, because whenever we bumped into each other, we would always talk. And as you say, Uncle D always had the time of day for every single individual. So I will apologize to the producers as well. But McFarland, I wonder for you, what are some of the fond memories personally that you shared with him? You know, there's, there's no greater moment that I can share except for the one for Iron Man, um, you know, when I went to, when I made a commitment to do an Iron Man on behalf of a friend that had been knocked by a um, reckless um, driver, Andre Peel, um, Derek was put on, onto that story and he followed my journey throughout from right at the beginning. I was weighing 106 kilograms. Um, I'd never done a triathlon before and um, Derek Watts was the one that is going to be telling the story and he followed my entire journey. And on that day, when I went to go do the full Iron Man, Derek was still ill. He was with me from about five o'clock in the morning um, when we um, uh, uh, got to the, the, the water in, in Port Elizabeth. Um, he was with me when I came out of the, the, the sea. He was with me when I got off that bike. And for the first time when I was doing the sign, man, um, Derek put his hand around me and he said to me, Mac, have you got anything left in you? And I said, Derek, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But he said, Mac, I'm going to be with you. We're going to be cheering you on. Keep going. And then I cycled that, um, you know, 180 kilometers. And then I went and I started on the 42 kilometer run. And Derek stayed with me each and every single step of the way. Ill as he, as he was, old as he was. Um, and I came in last, you know, um, at least I finished before cutoff, which was at 12 o'clock. And Derek was there right at the end. And he's the one that, you know, held me and he said, well done. Um, and I remember I went to go see him maybe about two or three days, um, you know, I think maybe about three weeks ago or a month ago. And I subsequently had also just finished doing Iron Man Durban. And um, I went to him and I gave him one of my finisher shirts that we got from um, Iron Man. And I said, Umderi, whenever you're feeling weak, wear this shirt and remember me and you. And says, Esther Mana. 
Um, and you know, yeah. Oh, he didn't. He didn't make it, man. And I thought I'd be able to do my last final Ironman um, out in Mossel Bay, and he would be there again at the finish line with me because he gave me strength. And um, you know, when I finished that that last one, and he was there, and he put his hands around me, and we cried together. That'll be a moment I'll remember for the rest of my life. McFarlane, so sorry um, for your loss as well, because this is clearly, as you say, a difficult day. And, and, and as you do it, as you take yet another step doing the Ironman, think of him and, and the support and the cheers that, you know, he would be giving you during that particular moment. So thank you so much, though, for being brave enough to talk to us tonight. I know how difficult it is for all of you at Cut Blanche and our condolences once again. That is Cut Blanche presenter McFarlane Muleli.